and it was a very awkward start for Mind Control and also a slow start for Silver State at the back of the field. Rock on Luke gets the first call. We'll take him into the first turn. Crosses right over. West Willpower just had to check ever so slightly. There is in second. Mind Control now regroups. He's taken that second spot. Now gets passed by Warrior's Charge. It'll be Rock on Luke, Warrior's Charge, then West Willpower and Mind Control in fourth as they sort themselves out. Thorny Tail is off the lead this afternoon. It's going to settle into fifth informative. And after the start, Silver State can see them all. Seventh. Off the lead, Rock on Loop to the back stretch. 23 and 2, a quick opening quarter mile. Rock on Loop and Paco Lopez, they're up by three quarters of a length. Warriors Charge gets closer. West Willpower saving ground to the inside as Thorny Tail starts to split rivals. Going to be wide as mind control. Second to last, informative Silver State. They still got a lot of ground to make up with less than a half mile to go. 47 flat for a half mile time. They slowed it down. It's Rock on Loop into the far turn. Warriors Charge now gets closer within a half length of that leader. Mind Control starts to launch a rally. West Willpower, Thorny Tail, they're dropping back. Silver State starts to get it in gear, and here comes Silver State coming after these leaders. It's within three and a half of the lead. Warriors Charge puts a nose in front. To the inside is Rock on Luke. Mind Control is in pursuit. Silver State is ready to pounce, and Silver State is now coming after these leaders. It's Mind Control for a final eighth of a mile, but Silver State is right up on the outside. Mind Control and Silver State. Silver State puts a head in front inside the final 16th. Silver State leaving, no doubt. Mind Control not done. Silver State, Mind Control comes up, and Mind Control! Mind Control, I think, came back and won. Silver State there in a photo. Warriors charge and Thorny Tail. It's a photo in 1 minute 36 and 2. All set. Feel for the Pat O'Brien sent on their way. A little bit of jostling after the start. Momosa took a little bump. Quickest into stride is Brickyard Ride. Now here comes Ginobili on the inside to join them. Eight rings in the gold cap right there and classier as the white cap. Then it's Flagstaff. CZ Rocket on the far side is five off the leaders. Howbeit passing horses down at the rail. Mo Moser is in the gold colors and surfing star last nine off them. They run past the half mile pole and Brickyard Ride leads at three parts of a length. Ginobili's right there in the second spot. How be it up to be a joint third? Alongside of that comes eight rings, being followed by Classier. Flagstaff in the green on the far side, four off the leaders. Here's CZ Rocket in the pink colors, got six to make up. And then comes Mo Mosa. They are coming towards the quarter pole now, and Ginobili goes on. Ginobili takes the lead and kicks on for home. Flagstaff coming after him. Now CZ Rocket is winding up. CZ Rocket extreme outside passing horses quickly. They come to the top of the lane. Ginobili strong on the lead and goes on with it. CZ Rocket and Flagstaff are chasing Gamely. But it's all Ginobili with a 16th to go. CZ Rocket chasing Gamely but not to get to Ginobili. And Ginobili and Drayton Van Dijk impressive winners of the Pat O'Brien. Close for second. Looked like CZ Rocket, Flagstaff and then came eight ring. And they're off. And it was a good start for Life is Good, who is going right out for the early lead. Chance it is second here in the early going, and the front two have almost three lengths. On Fort Peck, who is next in third, and doubly blessed, is at the back. And it is the big favorite, Life is Good, taking the field up the back stretch and leading here by a length. Chance it runs in second. Fort Peck down at the rail in third and alongside is a doubly blessed. The opening quarter mile, 23 and two fifth seconds. Life is good in control here. Now being pulled up there. Number three, Chance it is being pulled up and is at the back of the pack and is out of the race. It is life is good with the lead here by a length over Fort Peck with a doubly blessed racing in third. And the field goes around the far turn. The half one in 46 and two fifth seconds. Life is good, the leader here, by a full length. Fort Peck is in second by four, and Doubly Blessed is next in third. And now the field is coming for the top of the stretch with Life is Good, the three-year-old, leading Fort Peck by a little more than a length. 
and doubly blessed is third. They come off the turn and enter the stretch. Life is good, still in command here, and life is good. Now ask for a bit more here by Arad Ortiz Jr., and he is responding. Life is good has opened up a five-length lead, and then it is Fort Peck and doubly blessed. Life is good. Back in the winner's circle in his Belmont debut. He wins the grade two Kelso and won it by almost five. The mile went in one minute, 34 and one-fifth seconds. They're in the gate. And they're off in the Eddie D. Lieutenant Dan came out smartly. Here's Charmaine's Mia now sprinting up along with law-abiding citizen. Lieutenant Dan on the outside. At the rail, Charmaine's Mia, law-abiding citizen, is right in between those two. They're followed by Chaos Theory, racing together with Whisper Not, Miss Soot, Gregorian Chant. At the back of the field are Snapper Sinclair and Stretch Running Caribou Club trails. Down the hill they go. Charmaine's Mia, Lieutenant Dan in hand on the outside, and Lieutenant Dan now puts his head in front. Law Biden citizen in between horses, three clear of chaos theory, then whisper not, Miss Soot on the far outside. Gregorian Chant crosses the dirt, six lengths behind them, Caribou Club and Snapper Sinclair, they're at the top of the stretch. Lieutenant Dan powers to the front, opens up on Charmaine's Mia. Gregorian Chant is finding his best stride, a 16th to go, and it's Lieutenant Dan still cruising on the outside. Chaos Theory running a big race with Gregorian Chant, but Lieutenant Dan very strong. Snapper Sinclair came flying late for second. Chaos Theory and Gregorian Chant. They're in the gate. And they're off. Eight rings, sprints right out of there and takes command at once. Parsimony. Tyshawn, proverb at the back. Tyshawn comes right through on the inside of eight rings, and these two ensure a very honest pace. Parsimony is the gray in third, and another three back to proverb. Eight rings is simply quicker than Tyshawn. Clears off, has it by two lengths. Tyshawn second by five, then parsimony. And proverb single file onto the back stretch, and it's eight rings. The controlling speed. Tyshawn tips to his outside to try and put a little more pressure on him. It's a gap of four back to parsimony, and proverb is inching up inside of him. There's a half mile left to run, and eight rings. The heavy favorite is the one to catch. Tyshawn pestering him in second. Four more, Proverb clearly into third, and then Parsimony. Three furlongs to run, eight rings a length and a half. Tyshawn all in second. Another three to Proverb and Parsimony. They're covered by five lengths heading to the quarter pole, and it's eight rings there by three quarters of a length. Tyshawn second, Proverb is in third, and then Parsimony top of the lane. Eight rings asked to finish the job. Puts two lengths now on Tyshawn, parsimony between horses, and Proverb on the outside. A 16th out, and it's eight rings in Johnny V to take them all the way. Eight rings simply far too strong. Tyshawn held second, then Proverb and parsimony. 